Hello, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Meshings Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In PointWise version 18.1, a new feature named Build Blocks was added that provides tools that enable users to quickly create far field, refinement, and voxel block types. Using the Build Blocks tool, I can quickly create the uninitialized block topology directly from the unstructured surface mesh of this extra 300 model. The build blocks task is selection sensitive and requires that at least one domain or block be selected before it is available. After selecting all of the extra 300 surface domains, the build blocks panel can be accessed from the create menu or by selecting one of the options from its toolbar shortcut. In this example, we're interested in the far field block type, so after selecting this option, the build blocks panel opens. The extents of the surface domains are automatically computed and listed in the table at the top of the panel. A preview of the far field bounding box is shown in the display window. By default, the tool automatically detects planes of symmetry, but users can explicitly configure up to two symmetry planes from the available pull-down menus in cases where symmetry is not detected automatically for some reason. Within the margins frame, entry fields are available to change the margins for the boundaries in each coordinate direction from their initial values. The Uniform Entry field allows users to enter a single value that is applied to all three coordinate directions. In the Spacing's Controls frame, users can specify how the grid spacing on boundaries is determined. With the Constant from Size field option selected, either the minimum, average, or maximum spacing of the selected domains will be used, whereas the Variable from Size field option uses the spacing on selected domains, any overlapping sources, decay, and background spacing to compute the local cell spacing. By default, the value for decay uses the value specified in the defaults panel. Background spacing is automatically determined from the cell sizes of selected domains, the decay value, and margins of the block. Both of these values can be changed by toggling off the default option and specifying new values in their corresponding entry fields. Using the options in the T-Rex frame, users can pre-populate attributes and boundary conditions for T-Rex in the unstructured solver. Users can set full and max layers, the advancing layer growth rate, and create boundary conditions. When all options for the block have been configured, click OK or Apply to save the block. The volume grid for the block can then be generated by simply selecting it and clicking the Initialize Toolbar shortcut or entering the unstructured solver via the grid menu. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.